Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install sky images in Luminar Neo. Now, of course, Luminar Neo comes with its own set of sky images, but you do have the option of installing your own sky images or images that you've purchased from a third party. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install what I consider to be the best high resolution sky images available. I'm talking about the sky images sold by OcuDrone. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to OcuDrone's website and I have a discount code you could use to save some money if you choose to purchase their sky images. Now to install OcuDrone skies or any skies, including your own skies into Luminar Neo, you need to open up the sky AI tool. It's in the creative section right here and let's scroll up. So in the creative section, Sky AI, open that up. And then down here where it says Sky Selection, open that up. Then within that part where it says All Skies, this drop down, open that up. And then at the bottom, you see it says Show Custom Skies. When you click there, if you have a Mac, it'll open up a Mac Finder window. If you have a PC, it'll open up a Windows Explorer window. Either way, this is where you place the sky images. Now I'm just going to minimize Luminar Neo temporarily because on my desktop I have a folder and inside of that folder are a number of different OcuDrone sky images. You can see all of them here. They're all in individual folders. And I'll roll that open. You can see all the individual sky images that happen to be in the blue velvet sky uh, package sold by OcuDrone. Now, these are the exact names, except I added OD to the front of it because when you install the sky images into Luminar Neo, they'll be put in alphabetical order. And I want all of the OcuDrone skies to be together so they're more easily found. So, I'm going to select all of them. I'm just going to click on the first one, hold the shift key down and click on that last one. And then I'm simply going to drag them into this folder. And then I'm going to move them, click move. And you can see they're all moved in that folder now. That is the folder that I accessed from within Luminar Neo. We'll go back to Luminar Neo and I'll go back to the Sky AI tool. I'll go back to the Sky Selection. I'll go back to this drop down where it says all skies and now you could see that all those OcuDrone skies are here and they'll always be here unless I remove them from that specific folder I just dropped them into. So let's find some skies. Let's go to OcuDrone Blustery Blue and we could just try some out. So I'll just click and you have to wait a second for Luminar Neo to do its masking but you could see Try to match the lighting as best as possible here. Maybe this one. That one doesn't look too bad. So just, this isn't a video demonstrating how to use the Sky AI tool in Luminar Neo. I actually have several videos demonstrating how to do that. But this is how you install third-party skies or sky images you've taken yourself. Super easy to do. Now, as I mentioned, they'll always be there and always accessible from within Luminar Neo. And as I mentioned, if you want to remove them, all you need to do is go back to this section, open it up, then open up this section, then go back to show custom skies. You'll get this folder opened and just drag them out of here. And then you'll be removing them from Luminar Neo. It's as easy as that. So that's it for this video. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.